Hey everyone, it's Elsie here and I'm back with you today with another process video. Um, I actually started this one the night before um, I made the layout because it required a bit of sewing. As you can see here I've drawn what I want to sew on the paper and then I'm going to use that uh, stabby tool, stabby tool, pokey tool, I don't know what they're called. Um, it's basically a thing with a sharp thing at the end. Oh look at me demonstrating there what I'm going to do when I stab the paper. Yes, and as you can see I have stabbed such paper and have sewn through it using some blue embroidery thread. I've also done a bit of full planning and I've punched out some holes using um, a single hole punch and cut some circles out of some paper and I printed some passages from Peter Rabbit um, on some tracing paper I think, I don't own vellum but I think vellum and tracing paper like a very similar or the same thing so I just attached that to a bit of printed paper and fed that through and that actually worked which I was, really wasn't expecting it to so very very pleased with that one. Um, so yeah as you can see from the title I just made um, this layout is about Peter Rabbit. Um, my rabbit um, as you can see there from the bottom picture um, was called Peter um, a very original name by eight-year-old me, I think, because he looked like Peter Rabbit and the name actually had to s kind of suited him very well because he was an absolute bloody nightmare. He was honestly just not a cuddly rabbit, not friendly, just kind of slightly naughty and evil. Um, I don't know whether rabbits can be evil, but he was a bit of a nightmare I have to say. <laughs> so because I had like two rabbits before him and they were sisters and they were like adorable. Well one was quite naughty but the other one was just like really sweet. So I just kind of thought oh I'll we'll get another like little Peter Rabbit. Well not another Peter Rabbit like another rabbit and it'll be equally as cute and he wasn't. <laughs> so um, I kind of wanted to this layout to sort of be quite not childish, but kind of like whimsical and sort of fun, I guess, which is why I kind of did the sewing, which is kind of cartoony, um, and I use quite sort of light pastel colours, and the photos are in a circle, so I think it's quite sort of, I think I achieved it alright, I don't know, being minimal is like not my thing, because I like to sort of, um, use, sort of make a layout, and then just chuck everything on it, I have to say. Um, so I decided to only use like the kind of the first two sort of paragraphs of the um, story because um, it was just too much with everything else. Um, and I kind of, kind of wish I like used the whole thing, but I don't know how I would have done that, so. Um, I don't have a tiny attacher and I really really want one otherwise I would have sort of stuck those passages down with a bit um, with a tiny attacher but I had to use some glue um, the glue that I have is amazing because it dries clear so you can't see it through the tracing paper which I love um, and I put a doily around the photo of me holding Peter and um, used a bit of phone tape to um, prop him up on the end there on the end of the sewing bit um, but I don't know if anyone's seen or read the Beatrix Potter Peter Rabbit story I assume everyone had I think it's just because when I was little I think my room like my first bedroom was my parents decorated it in everything Peter Rabbit and Beatrix Potter stuff so I think I've always been quite aware of the story um, so it's just like one of those things I think that is um, quite a nice thing to document kind of on both levels, you know, it's something that's always been present to me about my childhood and then I had obviously Peter Rabbit um, <laughs> when I was eight or I don't know, I must have been about eight there I think. So yeah, I used... Um, some paper from I think it's the We Are Memory Keepers Love Notes collection which is just 
stunning paper. It's like, um, as you can see I'm using the 12 by 12 pad next to me and it's just seriously got the most beautiful kind of like contrast between like watercolory, pastel-y, um, minty greens and blues and um, pinks and it's got all this brush script and sort of then contrasting with some quite graphic prints and oh I love it. The only thing about the paper pad is that it's double sided and that really really pees me off I have to say. <laughs> but apart from that it's great. Um, yeah and a little set, I don't have any circle hole punches well I do, I have like the single hole punch but like in terms of actually like having proper circle punches, paper punches, I don't have them. Um, so I just use like a hole punch, um, it worked quite well, kind of looks like confetti and I felt like it needed something to fill the space but nothing like too sort of like in your face kind of thing. Um, I love those stickers as well from um, Dear Lizzie. I think they're from the desktop collection. They're so, so beautiful. Skinny gold um, letters. Really nice. And I think I'm nearly done. Yeah, I used that um, paper clip from my Felicity Jones Savannah kit. And I call that done. I added a few more little dots there. As you can see, after I finished filming. But yeah, hope you really enjoyed this layout, guys. And I shall see you in the next one.